Tonight, day number three of king tide in South Florida. It's now become all too common to expect the water to rise. CBS 4's Carrie Codd live in Fort Lauderdale. Carrie. Bruta Bay here in East Fort Lauderdale, just south of Las Olas Boulevard. We watched the water levels rise here during high tide tonight, about three feet, in fact, as it reached its height around 920 tonight. Fortunately for this part of town, the flooded streets we saw this morning did not return tonight. Pump stations sent water flowing out to sea Tuesday night as Fort Lauderdale city workers prepared for a long night of checking storm drains. Making sure there's no blockage or no obstruction. And doing all they could to keep rising king tides from flooding the street of East Fort Lauderdale. I've been here for 19 years, okay, and I've never seen anything like it. This woman named Ingrid said the scene Tuesday morning at high tide surprised her. By nightfall, she knew she needed to get to the grocery store before high tide returned. That's why I have to rush to the grocery store, get my groceries here out and up before it starts flooding. She questions what the city is doing to deal with the king tides, which are made worse this week because the moon is so close to the earth. She'd like to see the city elevate some streets in the area along East Las Olas Boulevard. I don't think it's very effective so far. Resident Larry Danielle also wonders what the city's plans are, especially when he sees the millions spent by the city of Miami Beach to put in pumps and build up roads and infrastructure to successfully handle the flooding. He's got 70 sandbags in front of his driveway. He's trying to take the king tides in stride, but worries the problem is only going to get worse. It's a hassle, but you know, it's only a couple weeks out of the year. So, but it's not great. I asked CBS4 meteorologist Craig Setzer how long we can continue to see these king tides. He told me that they should continue to recede throughout the week, and by the end of the week, we should see maybe a few wet spots on the road. Craig also told me that the next time the moon will likely be this close to Earth is in 18 years. That's in 2034. Now, the city of Fort Lauderdale is concerned about all this. They've set up a 24 hour hotline for people to report flooding concerns or issues. That phone number is 954 828 8000. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.